welcome back to my channel Bernadette here um, today I'm doing an Easter spiritual message reading um, so I have three parts here um, before we get started I am now starting to do paid readings so if you'd like a personal reading with me they will be £25 now um, so if you do want to um, have a reading um try and find me on facebook or somewhere and uh i will give you a, a link to where you pay me and uh yes i will do you a free free reading that's because i'm used to doing free readings um i will do you a um private reading for you so yeah like i said we're doing a special easter Easter pick a card reading with me today. It's um the spiritual Easter uh, messages. What spirits might have um, messages for you this Easter? So the golden egg, the golden egg is pile number one. The black egg is pile number two. And the cosmic egg, which I absolutely love the look at. Um, cosmic egg is pile number three. Okay guys, so I will leave you to pick one or more of your cards. Um, my tarots do not dictate as and when you, um, whether it's past, present and future, it just guides you in, in what could happen or what thing. You have free will to change whatever you hear today. It is not set in stone. So I will let you pick your cards and uh, let's get on with your readings. Hi, pile number one. Um, you have chosen the golden egg so I'm just going to read out about the golden egg this is from the um, unknown spirit animal deck and I will link I will link that I will link that down below so the wild animal spirit deck so the golden egg message at the center of the heart and stuck sound within a golden egg is a precious sound deep within the sound beside a message the sound cannot be heard nor the message this can discerned until retreated from the noise of the modern day life The mag magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, no pushing, no grasping. Finding a place deep and restful, ease, perhaps even thoughts, yoga, um, meditation. If you do not have meditation practice, Take the time to do some introspection or some contemplation. When the mind's being um, set and the breath is now calm, the question that weights heavy on your heart stays open and any response you hear engage with the energies of the golden egg. As an advanced practice, it requires 
to become intimate with the very essence of comfortable and vulnerable. When, 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 oh, when I feeling is uh, tenderness and gratitude. Arise from deep within you. Know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like a, like you are seeing an old friend. That being away for a long time, listen to messages they've been waiting to tell you. So, it's funny how I, I chose these cards the other night one and I wanted a spiritual kind of energy from this reading and an Easter kind of reading and I feel like spirits are trying to tell you to be grateful and go into yourself a little bit stop all the chatter of the outside world go inside focus on yourself it says the golden egg and the fourth chakra. Suitable essence of the golden egg is ne nest nestling deep within your heart. So maybe the heart chakra at the fourth chakra. This chakra, I can't pronounce the name, so I'll have to probably pop it up on the screen is the home to the self and soul. By bringing the mind into center and discover a parallel to the most intimate and luminous space. It is said to inner guide sit and, and deepen the meditation waiting for the heart chakra to translate the unstuck sound. So um, I, w I would say the message of the um, golden egg is to go into yourself and listen to yourself with the outside chatter. So I'm just going to pop that there. And then we'll get your tarot cards out. So I've got the Ride Awake tarot cards today. Let's see what we've got. The Wheel of Fortune. That is also a number 10, I think, which is you've completed something and you're starting a new journey. So are you starting a new self-love journey? The wheels are turning for you. Wheels are turning for you. Seven of coins. You blocking your prosperity. The Hierophant. And the Fool. Yeah, kind of connects. There's a lot of red in this reading. Are you having trouble with authority, Pile One? feel like you're having trouble with authority because the golden egg is saying go into yourself and I feel you're resisting. I feel you're resisting. There's a new opportunity here for you, power one. So you've, you've just completed something with the turning of the wheel. And all your spirits are coming through to you and saying, we've got you, we've got you back. You've just got to unblock yourself. 
You've got to unblock your power and purity and growth so that the, then you can get uh, prosperous. Um, you can then do... I feel like you're blocking a a root chakra here as well, even though it said about your heart chakra, you really are blocking something. You're blocking kind of not obeying as such, but I see you blocking some sort of authority figure. And you're block, blocking fresh starts as well. You, I would say you're blocking your inner beauty. You're not thriving. So you may have to go into yourself to do some shadow work. But there's, like I said, there's a lot of, lot of red in this colour. I feel the spirits are trying to tell you, you have a lot of power in you. And you um, are, are just blocking it. You're not... You're not taking on what the, you can't hear what they're saying, and this is what I said about I think there's too much noise going on, there's too much noise. So, yeah, you um, you've completed one cycle, and I would say we have a seven. And you can't hear, and this is what I um, got from YouTube, because I'm still learning my craft. Um, when you see 777, yeah, that's the spirits applauding you. I feel like the spirits in this are trying to applaud you, and you're trying to grow your coin. You're trying to grow a business or something you're trying to grow anything you can your finances are blocked you're trying to do everything you can but it's not it doesn't seem to be working and uh also um the the coins um are very money and material yeah, part one. I'll have to, um, let me get you your, um, your Moonology manifestation card. Yeah, I, I do feel there's a really bad block of power here. And I feel it's your power. You're not letting your own power shine through. Ah. Leave the past behind. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Um, I would say then, um, if you're blocking things, has there been a trauma in your life that's, uh, and so now you feel um, you are constantly blocking your um, way? You are constantly blocking stuff. You've you've probably been told in the past, you're no good at this. You'll never be good at this. This is what it is now, and you're never going to amount to anything. Sorry, that was my knee knocked the table. Um, yeah, it's time, it's time to get the past gone. Be real, for when in Aquarius. Yeah, be yourself. Be yourself. I'm now starting to be myself in the way that I look, in the way that I feel. Sometimes I go back into um, a dark place. Uh, sometimes I have to retreat. And um, if you see this dark person, as soon as I said dark place, you may have to do some shadow work. See, you're, you're already walking away and you're going into yourself. And I feel the reason you're going into yourself is to find yourself. Um, because like I said, in in these cards, look, red. 
red. There's a lot of red and a lot of orange as well. I feel like you're, you're blocking out stuff. Maybe you're blocking lessons that have been taught um, that people are trying to teach you. Open to change. New moon in Aquarius. So I also feel this is like emotional. And I'm not going to do... I, I really want to do the TikTok thing. Have you ever seen that TikTok thing? Emotional damage. <laughs> you can see me on TikTok, by the way. I've, I do have a TikTok channel as well. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like this is... In the past, someone has made you think that you've got an act a certain way, be a certain way, not be open to change, um, which I now feel that you're now getting, but there's too much, like the golden egg said, there's too much chatter, there's too much going around you and you're blocking the the um, messages that are coming to you. Right. I'm going to get the book out on um, the moon manifestation um, um, cards and see whether I can get you some manifestation quotes um, by Yasmin Boland that might help you um, turn, turn these blockages around so if we go into the last last quarter moon in in Capricorn Yeah, your manifestation um, mantra is the only way out is thought. The only way out is thought. And also there's crystals that you could work with this. Um, you can get some pyrite, uh, tiger's eye, rose quartz. I've got tiger's eye here, so um, rose quartz I've got on my altar, um, blue kyanite, green um, jade, which I have got some green jade, and some red jasper. Um, you just need one of them, um, hold it while you're meditating, visualise uh, with a golden light swirling around you. So, and, um, when to manifest your magic day. So in this card, your magic day is on a Saturday, which is when I, um, and uh which i upload and on a saturn day which is if you're into um if you're into the planets as well that's a good day so yeah i hope that helped you out with trying to leave your past and now let's get on to uh the full moon in a Aquarius. So, full moon in Aquarius, your affirmation is the truth empowers me and sets me free. Yes. So, I feel, I feel in this pile because there's so much chatter, so much chatter going on. Um, you're not being able to speak your truth. Someone's stumping you from speaking the truth. Um, 
They said add frankincense to oil. Um, sit comfortably and close your eyes. Um, ask Isis um, to show you your truth. So I would say you're trying to be true to yourself at the moment. But with all the chatter that's going on, they um it's just not you're just not being able to focus and be the real you. And uh the message I'm getting is um spirits want you to be you. They don't want you to be anything else. They don't want you to take on anybody's burdens or anything like this. And again, your day for manifesting is on a Saturday, the uh, Saturn day. So, yeah. So, I would say the best time for the group number one to manifest whatever they want to ma manifest into their life is definitely a Saturday. And now I'm going to go on to the new moon in Aquarius. And that affirmation is, there is only one me. It's safe to be me. And I love me. Yep, yeah, that's just clarified everything. You, I feel, group number one, you want to be your own power. You want to be your own self. You want to be your own being. You want to be safe in yourself. I feel like you... I feel like you're hearing everybody and blocking your own true voice out. You're hearing what everybody else has got to say instead of concentrating on you. You've got to concentrate on you. Again, the manifestation day is a Saturday. Okay? So definitely, that is a definite, definite. If you want to manifest something in your life, Power One, it is a definite, I've had three Saturdays now, and Saturn days, for you to manifest anything you want. It also says here, to manifest, call on Archangel Israel, who's the most celebratory angel. Um... Calling on the planet Uranus is good, um, which is the sign of Aquarius. Um, and that will be about your um, independence and invo invoking independence into yourself. Light your candle, we have today. Um, maybe a silver candle would be better. And ask... Um, Is uh you is well, I can't spell. I'll have to I'll have to put the name of the angel. I'm so sorry about that. Um, call on calling them for help with reviewing life um compassion and uh try and get your passion back. I think that's what I think that's what the um. <laughs> I think that's what the spirits are trying to say. Bring your passion back. Yeah. Bring your passion back. Bring your passion back. See? Yes. So I've got some um, chakra cards here i will get them out as well for you pile one and see what we have for you so pile number one we have the throat chakra what was i just saying you were the pile i was saying you somebody's stopping you from speaking up 
somebody stopping you from saying the right things. So, when the throat chakra is open, we feel confident in our abilities to express ourselves openly and speak and listen to others enthusiastically. So I feel that you guys have to go into yourself to open up your throat chakra. Okay, I'm not quite sure what crystal. I'm sure you can probably still have one of those um, crystals. Maybe the rose quartz crystal to open up. Because that's full of love and light, the rose quartz crystal. We did say about the heart chakra as well, didn't we? Activate your heart chakra. By doing this, the following yoga poses and self-love, backbending, reversing pilates and upward dog will open up your heart chakra and also if you have a um a green crystal like a green jade and pop that on your heart chakra as well um you can get chakra um pebbles or crystals and you can align them on the body as such as well which is what i'm trying to to get here but yeah, I think or what the messages are um, to open up your heart, speak your truth, um, find your way. You may have to do a bit of shadow work for this, but find your way in life so then that you can become the powerful person and bring your vi finance into alignment, your your boss power into alignment, your new journeys. You've got no end of circles to take care. So part one, number one, if you like this um, reading, please subscribe to me down below, somewhere down there. And uh, thumbs me up, uh, press the uh, thumbs button and uh, click on the notification bell on all and that will um, show you well that will tell you when I upload which should be every Saturday I haven't missed one yet but if I do miss one I do very much apologize so uh, pile number one I will see you again and uh, concentrate on your throat and heart chakra it will open up a whole new world for you. Oh, a whole new world. Yeah, okay, I'll, I won't give up my day job. Bye. Hello, pile number two. You have chosen the black egg. So um, we will now get into your reading and see what Easter messages are coming for you so I'm gonna read out the black egg this is from um, the unknown animal spirit deck so I'm gonna read out um, and this well this kind of clarifies to what I was saying to pile number one so if you're drawn to pile number one you may want to go over to pile number one so the black egg speaking from um, authentic voice, the truth. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures, the truth. Inside of the, inside of it resides no confusion, excuse me, small talk, noise or lies not even white ones this is so resonating with number one power number one number two so again if you are feeling drawn to power number one maybe you'll go and see number one if um power number one is now listening to this you may have turned a corner and now listening to yourself 
This living and breathing vessel harbours only one which rings true. When this a sense of imbalance, we speak slowly and clearly, which is what I'm now trying to do. I'm trying to calm myself. It seemed like in part one, I was kind of very kind of, oh shit, oh shit, oh god, mm. And now in your part, part two, I feel like I have to slow down. I've got to slow everything down. We are drawn to the, um, we are drawn to attract like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sound draws us into the concept of truth. It also draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be, tr trust, to be trust about myself? What is true? Oh, what about to be true about myself? What is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from unsure place. We say things other others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories, or justify the sub um, the behaviours. We might even try to convince ourselves that we are no inner truth. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to connect. It is, it is available at every moment in which situations is um, ex um, epic of truth of birthplace of our voice so if part number one is now watching I feel like you're growing now if you're doing all the work that you have been doing you've just stepped into part number two and your voice is now being heard and this is what spirits wants group two to be doing. And I think group two, this is what you're doing. You're doing the shadow work, the black egg, the shadow work, the black sheep. You're going in. Okay, so the black egg is the fifth chakra, which is essential for this card um, based on the throat. So yes, yeah, speak your inner truth, speak your heart. And this is what power number one was on about as well. Um, being able to open your heart up and speak the truth. Um, the ancestor sage saw this center. So you might have to cleanse a little bit as the hub of the governs are speech and expression. Translate as essentially pure. The balance of this center is important for all of us, but this essential, especially essential for writing, author, music and teaching. So, part number two, if you were, if you've just come from part number two, uh, one and now in part number two, or if you started watching part number two, I would go and just start watching part one first, as um, they were blocking their power. They were blocking their power. They weren't opening up their hearts. They weren't opening up their truth. You're now starting to speak out and speak your truth. And I feel like this is what um, 
the messages are from spirits now take back your voice take back your voice whereas part number one was do some inner work and open up now's the time to open your voice so i've got your um right away deck cards here let's see what you've got again a completion number but this time it's abundant so again you've you've completed something and it's abundant we've got a 10 card again of swords but someone's hurt you someone's stabbed you in the back someone's not liking this you've completed a financial cycle but someone's in pain over this cycle someone's hurt you or you've hurt someone however the sun means joy and light so i feel like you've done all your work and now you're coming into prosperity and stuff like that and someone doesn't like this someone doesn't like this i think someone's I feel like someone here is trying to hurt you but because you've done all your um, shadow work you're not seeing the pain that they are now going through they're they're feeling genuine pain now because I, th I think they tried to hurt you and now they're hurting you've flipped it over to the people that were blocking you and now they're now hurting yeah yeah you're creating you're creating your coin you're creating your coin and because of that, you're looking, two of wands, you're looking on what you've created now. This is a very positive outcome. I would say you're now starting to look, and this rings true into pile one, because in pile one, they had... They had that card and another 10, 10, 10, three tens in pile one. They also had the full. So new beginnings. You're now looking, because you've done that shadow work, you're now looking onto that new beginning. I would say you've unblocked your growth of finances now but what i still see is you're still a little bit blocked you're looking on the new horizon you're still a little bit blocked you're still a little bit sort of like i want to but i'm not quite sure but you're looking you're looking out to your prosperity in fondness and it is going to be fun you are going to be creative you're going to be in abundant and someone's going to be hurt. The people that have hurt you are going to be hurt by this. Two tens make 20, which makes two. Two is balance. And that two is balance. And then also... Oh, sorry, guys. Also, the ones can be perceived as 11 11 as well you've just got to step out into that doorway you've just got to step out into that doorway i mean the wheel of fortune card in in part number one yeah the wheel of fortune card you've got the world in this card let me show you 
you've got the whole world. And I would say you've no, you've now kind of stepped into your power. And like I said, people are not liking it. People are hurting that they're seeing you progress. All right, part number two. This is such a lovely reading that I'm getting lost in this reading. Um, it is such a beautiful reading. You've got a lot of loyalty here as well. You've, I feel like you've got a lot of love around you. And you've grown so much, pal, too. You have grown so much. So now I'm going to get the Moonology manifestation cards out and give a little bit of clarity of where we're, what we're doing with this. Step into your power. First quarter moon in Aries. Yes. Alright, step into your power. Take that step. Take that step. And as you can see, again, joy, dancing, be joyful. What's that saying? Dance like no one is watching. Then we have first quarter moon in Taurus, and it's also a sh sh as a chakra card as well. Release control. Yeah, maybe maybe you you've been a little bit stubborn, so now it's time to release that little bit of control that you've you've had. So you, you have been meditating, you have been grounding yourself, you've been dancing with joy about how you've now sort of got out of the shadow working and that you can embrace you for you now. Release what you need to be seen last quarter moon and when that said release yeah um let me see the other um there's also what card did i have for um part one yeah in part one we got this Leave the past behind. Now you've got reveal what needs to be seen. So I think you've left the past behind and now you're revealing because you're looking out onto the um, you're looking out onto the horizon. You're now seeing what you're potentially worth. You're now seeing you are you. And you're still doing your shadow work. You're still grounding yourself, but enjoying it as well. Because I, I feel you... You have kind of got rid of everybody's chatter. You can see everybody for who they really are now. And, um, yeah. And like Scorpio, if once, once been stung, once you've been stung, that is it. So yeah, I'm now going to um, get some mantras out for you. Oh, you've got another chakra card here. 
so um let me um let me get out and see whether I can get you any affirmations or anything from um from the cards so first moon in Aries yeah so the affirmation is energies of the first quarter moon in Aries thank you for giving me confidence I need to chase my dreams and I feel like this is what two of two of ones is doing you're, you're looking you're looking on the horizon of your dreams and now you're now starting to create your dreams with these and with the Eight of Pentacles, you're now starting to create those dreams. And it's the Solar Plexus. Um, this card is the Solar Plexus. So it is um, where you are stored your courage and confidence to seek out in your dreams of its find a little above your navel and is bright in bright yellow in color so you are starting to align your chakras you are starting to align your um yourself you're starting to give yourself self-love. Your day of manifestation is on a Tuesday. And it's uh, Mars Day as well. So if you're, if you're wanting to manifest, manifest with this card on a Tuesday. So right, I'll now go on to first quarter moon in Taurus which is the next which is the next card yes release control step into your power but then release some of it as well so that you're not coming across this so because I find Taurus um, very stubborn so release release some of your stubborn aspects so the affirmation here is energies of the first quarter moon in taurus thank you for showing me that all my needs are taken care of again taurus um Taur uh the manifestation day for the taurus card is a friday which is venus uh, planet of Venus is Venus of love. So release control. Let that person in. You also have a root chakra. So you're aligning your root chakra. So keep, like I said, keep grounding yourself. Keep, um, keep looking after yourself. And the colour of the um, root chakra is red. So yeah, part two, this is such a positive, positive reading. Such a positive reading. It says here, I've just looked at this bit. You cannot control everything all at one time. Karma comes into play as you your deep down beliefs about yourself so i feel like you're releasing your past from part one as well so i feel like you're releasing your past and um spirit i think spirits are trying to tell you you've done your work and in part one we had a um seven i think we have the seven of coins or seven of something and um when you get a seven 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 the angels applaud you 
So, but we've got two tens, which is 20, which is two, which is balance. So now I'm going to go on to the last quarter moon in Scorpio. In your um, manifestation mantra is, I know I am draw, um I know I am Dharma, now I know I am Dharma's, now our healing cries. Hmm. Okay, and you've got some crystals to work with as well, Wizard Scorpio. You've got Agate, Pyrite, uh, Labdarite, um, Black black obsidian um again the um, these two cards manifest on tuesday or mars day so maybe a tuesday or friday are your best days to uh, manifest things in pile two so yeah part two um uh, this feels like even though there's you're, you're sort of like holding yourself back a little looking on that horizon thinking yeah i'm gonna go for that yeah i feel like um i feel like you you were gonna go for it right pile number two we have a crown chakra i've got my happy chakra cards here we have a crown chakra manifestation and it says, I am intelligent, aware, and I am one of everything. I am intelligently aware, and I am one with everything. And the solar plexus. I can't really read that. Um, name of the solar plexus chakra is which is um located around the navel so yeah i would say try healing more of your solar plexus so pile number two i feel like this is such a positive reading for you um i hope you do take that step uh through the horizon for you to get your your creativity, your joy. Forget about this person you've hurt. They probably will come back to you. Or if you've hurt them, yeah, um, because they tried to hurt you, then they weren't a friend in the first place. Um, this person, I don't think, should have been here because that's the only card that's upside down. So yeah, part number two, if you like this reading, click on the subscribe button down below. Uh, click on the like button and also hit that notification bell on all. I upload every Saturday. So um, yeah, go, uh, go step through that horizon. Open that no new door to your new life. Okay, pile number two. Take care now. Bye. Hi, pile number three. You have chosen the cosmic egg. So, I'm going to get out what this card means. Um, and we'll see what... Um, what Easter messages we've got coming for you. So, the cosmic egg is complications, harmony, the infinity within the, I can't read my own writing there, infinite. The infinity within the infinite. I couldn't read my own writing. <laughs> Um, 
The Cosmic Egg is the final card in the journey of the Animal Spirit deck. So, in part three, I feel like this is a story. And the messages are coming from part one and two as well. So if you're also drawn to one and two, please go and see them. Um, if not, this is a, entirely a message for you. Um, and it's respect the unfolding of the cosmic consciousness. This state... Um, this states immersing after we have treated the path of quite some time. Although self effect is grace, we experience self realization. Oh my god, Paul three. Part three, have you been part one and part two and now triumphed over your journey? I had two tens in part two. I had God knows what going on in part one. And you were starting out on your journey and you were so blocked. Part two was just so kind of, um, you were then starting to look on to your journey you'd done what you had to do from pile one i feel every card reading that i do it's like a little story to your your miraculous journey your journey will never end but you complete your journey a sense of contentment and oneness Yeah. I I don't know whether I can finish reading this eight part three. This is just so amazing. It's blown my mind. Um So yeah, basically a sense of um contentment and oneness arises within us. The veil of the self limiting beliefs are lifted. We've lifted the veil. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we n we never w we will never get there, or that the travel alone disconnects us from others. Even if our encounters with this card is belief appearing as a monetary glimmer or flash it, interconnectedness is potent energy stays with us the cosmic egg is a i can't read my writing again i'd like to say realm of the fragments of the modern life it's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning and ho hold on to life and life holds on to us the journey is completed but it doesn't end what was i just saying your journey will never end and this is what the spirits are saying. You've now completed something. And I do feel the spirits are kind of from par one to par two to par three. This is your journey, what you've got to go through. So par three, if you haven't yet seen par one or two, maybe you should go and see par one or two. Because I feel like there's messages in par one and two to get you to where you are right now. This is so blowing my mind. The cosmic egg is the seventh chakra.
so the seventh chakra is the crown chakra oh my god you've done your shadow work you were blocked self when you've done your shadow work you've aligned all your chakras and as i can see here all your chakra colors all your chakra colors you're transforming you're shedding old skin Yeah, so the um, crown chakra is at the top of your head, and again, I can't read, I can't read the name. So, uh, one of the aims of yoga meditation practice is to channel from the base of the spine upwards towards the head chakra. Um, each of the six lower chakras plays an important role of this journey. And once the journey finally um, goes into consciousness, this activates and resonates with a million lights, a million suns. So, pile number three, I would say you've completed pile number one, what they were going on about, you've completed number two, um, you have now done what you've had to do. You are now your own boss lady or your own boss gentleman kind of thing. Par three. I really, that has blown my mind just through reading par number one to par number two to your pile. I feel like you have done it. You have done it. You are getting what you want. You are getting that life that you want to lead. However, you, with the King of Pentacles upside down, I feel like you're still blocking a little bit. I think you're still having to face off um, those obstacles. There's still more obstacles you might have to face with the Seven of Wands. But you are blocking the chatter and the people around you that are trying to hurt you. I think that's the obstacle you're overcoming at the moment, even though you have completed the cycle and you are in your best element. Um, you're still blocking your growth of being abundant. Um, but you are, you are going through um, the obstacles. Because there may be more obstacles coming. You've got more obstacles to come. And you're not letting anyone in that's... Because in pile... Was it one or two? I think in pile two, weren't it? Yeah. In pile two, yeah, either you had hurt somebody or someone had hurt you. You've now learnt that it's okay not to listen to people. You've now learnt that you can see through what these people are going through. So I feel like you're blocking people who are manipulative to you. And that's the obstacle you're getting over now. like you've got a little sort of barrier up you're not you're not coming through i don't care i don't care if you don't like what i've got what i'm doing i don't care if you think it's wrong i don't care that maybe i'm a little bit more successful than you but is that still why you're, you're letting a little bit of it in that's blocking you. 
Right, I'm now going to get your Moonology cards. And I've just heard as well, I've just had in my head um, it's this person. I'm not going to block my voice to you anymore. I don't care if it hurts you. You can be as manipulative as you want. You can go and steal from me if you want. You can go and do this from me if you want. You're still having people trying to hurt you. But in part two, either you were blocked being hurt or blocking hurting somebody. And now... You don't give a damn. You've got your voice. You've got your chakras aligned. Yeah? And you're saying, no. No, it's my time. I want this upright. I want this upright. So now... We get your... moon manifestation so we've got full moon in taurus detoxification yeah get them out of your life get the people who are not you know i can see you start doing a cleansing ritual pile three last quarter moon in virgo attention to detail yeah and I think that's obstacles you're trying to get over as well because I feel you're trying to you're trying to sort out the details of what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to be. And these people are trying to stop you. And you're sort of like, no, I'm paying attention to my details. And the uh, first quarter moon in um, Aquarius... Trust the universe. And we've got a chakra in there as well. Trust the universe. Right, pile two. As I was saying, trust the universe. Look at the candle. Look at the candle. It's going, it's really high. It's flickering. It's even giving us a black smoke of protection. Um, I would say... That's a dance of celebration, right there. Right there, that's the dance of celebration. So, detoxification, uh, what's that? The full moon in Taurus. So, the affirmation is, I expect I express love and love comes back to me. Yeah. So you figured out from pile one how to love yourself. You figured out how to speak up in pile two. And now you're sort of like, do you know what? I don't give a rat's ass now. I'm going to do it for me. I'm going to do it for me. So, um, again, your manifestation day is a Friday on Venus. So, yeah, I would uh, do a love love kind of um, practice on a Friday. And um, in, in, um, in Pile 2, two season Fridays were the best day to um, manifest. And in um, part one, it was purely Saturday to manifest. So, and um, also Venus Day. So if you want to love yourself, do it on a Friday or a Venus Day. So now I'm going into the last quarter moon in Virgo. Virgo is I am guided and protected by the divine trust the universe 
the universe, the spirits that are saying to you, we've got your back. We've got your back. Uh, crystals to use on the um, attention to detail cards would be something like bloodstone, blue agate, amethysts, um, lapis lazuli, and then again, you just hold it when you're meditating. Um, this card is best to manifest on uh, Wednesday or Mercury Day. So, part number three, let's get on to the first quarter moon in Aquarius. So, this says, energy of the first quarter moon in Aquarius, thank you for showing me that it's okay to be me. So, this really, really resonates with part number one. But part number two is a story, you've completed it. You have now completed who you want to be seen as, who you want to be heard as, who, what boss person you want to be, okay? Yes, there's going to be more obstacles, um, but yeah, you've completed your self-love journey. You have completed your self-love journey and I just want to have a look at this Aquarius card again so again Saturday so all Aquarius is, I feel like this is a Saturday thing is uh, yeah and maybe manifesting um, crystals would be a tiger's eye on the 3rd the eye. So a little bit of tiger's eye. This is tiger's eye. Don't know whether you can see that. That's tiger's eye. A little bit tiger's eye on your um, third eye helps with dreams. Oh, pile, pile number three. This is well, you've just completed the whole three piles, you're there. You've completed the whole three piles. You know who you are now. You know who you want to be. Yes, there's still going to be obstacles. Yes, there's still going to be financial challenges. Yes, you're going to still have haters. But you're there. So I'm now going to get your um, happy chakra cards, eh? Oh my God, this was going on about the crown chakra, weren't it? So yeah, the um the chakra card is located at the top of the forehead, uh, top of the head, where you would find a soft spot for a newborn in infant. Might not be about a newborn infant. Could be now that you've completed a new cycle. What are you birthing now? There's a new cycle coming. You've just completed the cycle, and that's what. A pile number one was trying to say, complete your cycle. Um, number two, I would say, was you're halfway through your cycle. Number three, you're there. And the throat chakra again. Yeah. I know I am able to speak my truth with clarity and ease. So basically, your throat chakra has come through now and you know how to speak to people to say, hey, look, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm not 
I'm not going to take this anymore. I am me. I've let go of my past. I've had these spiritual traumas. And um, I, th I would say the cosmic egg and the spirits um, have said, we've got your back now. Start a new journey and just trust in us. We've got you this far. Keep trusting in us. Okay, part number three. If you like this reading, please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below. And um, click on the notification bell on all. And uh, I upload every Saturday. Uh, so, uh, so if you like this reading, please tell your friends, family or whoever to come and join me. And subscribe to my channel. So pile three, I will let you go now. Enjoy being yourself. Enjoy speaking your truth. And enjoy your new journeys. Bye. Thank you.